Hi, and welcome to this uh, Composite C1 uh, techno technology demo. I'm uh, going to be talking about how you can uh, move your data from uh, to log files to uh, SQL Server. Uh, before I uh, show the migration process, I'll just quickly be talking about uh, uh, the prerequisites. Yeah, I have a, a Composite C1 website. It's our demo website. Uh, I've uh, been editing some pages, uh, so we have some content which is published and uh, some which is not, just to show you uh, some features of our data system. Uh, also, I've uh, created a, uh, a database uh, on uh, the Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, right now, it's uh, okay, an empty database. And I've created a uh, uh, an account uh, which has uh, DBO access uh, to the database, so it's able to go and create tables. So, also before I, I do the actual migration, I'll just show you that uh, I have some code here, which is uh, using our data API, uh, grabbing some data. And the purpose of this is to show you how you can write some uh, some data logic uh, and at a later point migrate, migrate to SQL Server without having to change your code. So um, in Composite C1, we have a uh, data connection class, um, which is uh, uh, which gives you uh, access to data. It's link-based. So if you know link, this uh, code you see here should be uh, fairly straightforward. Um, and in this uh, sample code, I'm uh, grabbing uh, page data, uh, doing some filtering uh, on uh, on the title. Uh, I'm ordering by the title, and then I'm selecting some uh, properties and building up some uh, some XML. So if we quickly do a a preview of this, uh, we can see that uh, we have uh, our uh, result here. Uh, XML, the properties selected and filtered and sorted. And also you'll notice that uh, I get uh, both the published and unpublished content. Um, this is something we can, you know, like in a debug situation like this, say now we only want to see data which is published. Uh, yes, only the published content. So this is uh, some code I've written, and it's working and running on uh, XML. So let's go uh, mig migrate uh, to SQL Server. Now there's a package for that. I'll just quickly install it. So here's the package, couple site tools for SQL Server data provider. install that. Now what this does is that it um, uh, installs the assemblies and um, does the configuration changes required for the migration process, but it's not doing the actual migration yet. So just do a quick reload of my console so I can see the new elements. Okay, so after the uh, the package has been installed, we have a, a new element here in the system perspective, SQL Server Data Provider, and we'll convert to SQL item. Now I'll just quickly jump to my other monitor here and do a copy of a connection string. So this is a connection string which basically has to point to your database uh, uh, with a username, login, and so on. There is a validation here, so if you if you do any typos. Uh, Informed. So now we are validating that the database is uh, as it should be, and uh, then we have uh, the ability to go and uh, select a uh, data provider. So right now we are running on XML, so I have one uh, provider here. So. Basically, when I click finish, the uh, the migration process will start. Just for the fun of it, I'll try to go here and uh, let's have a trace running in the background. So 
So now um, uh, we're taking all the data schemas and uh, we're moving them from XML to the SQL Server. We are creating uh, uh, the tables required and uh, moving the data. And once the SQL Server data part is done, uh, this migration package will also uh, disable uh, the XML data provider. So now we have migrated to a SQL Server. We have a reload of the console again. I'll just quickly show you why. Go back to the system perspective. Uh, the, uh, the elements which uh, are used to start the migration is gone because we don't need it uh, anymore. Okay, so we have uh, our data running here. Uh, all its SQL and just choose you know, prove that to you. I'll go back to my uh, query I had before. First of all, we can just quickly see if it's still running. I have my my data here, and if I go and say settings and say let's show published data. Preview, I get the same data. So let's go and try to do a refresh here. Go execute this query. Go back and pause. And uh, check out the, uh, the executed um, SQL. So this is uh, this is now routed to a SQL Server. We're using a lit for SQL uh, to uh, transform the the, uh, the lit query to SQL queries. And uh, in this case, uh, if we look at the uh, at the code I have here, I'm selecting uh, ID, title, and uh, status. Uh, I'm doing some filtering on the title. Um, and right now, I'm running on a Danish uh, website, uh, and I wanted to see the published data. So if we look at this, the the SQL get here, we have the ID, title, and publication status. We go into my table, making sure it's the public Danish data. It's doing my uh, where sentence, uh, and it's doing the ordering uh, as requested by, uh, by my data query. Of course, if we try to change this to administrative to a preview, oh, sorry, I have to start this over again. Now it's uh, grabbing uh, from uh, the unpublished data. If we go look in the uh, object explorer, do a refresh on the table list, you can see uh, that all our data types have been migrated here, both the, 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 uh, the core types in, uh, in our system and also the uh, custom data types which were created on the website. So this is not something which is uh, limited to, uh, to cover site specific types. If you go create your own data types in our system or download packages and so on, uh, these things will be migrated as well. Also, uh, let's try to take a look at the uh, tables. So. If we take the uh, page tables which I was selecting from, we have it here. It's uh, columns and uh, uh, the columns are types. You know, this is fields and so on. So this is fairly straightforward uh, to uh, to look at. And uh, of course, if, if you need to, you can go do your own uh, custom SQL queries against this uh, this data. So, just to, uh, to reiterate, uh, when you need data in Composite G1, you use our data API. We use Link, uh, where you can do projections, uh, filtering, uh, ordering, and so on. Uh, the data uh, API you use is not dependent on whether you're running on XML or SQL. 
you can write your code against one and then later change to the other without changing your code.